two-piece vise. Uh, this is a short little video explaining the benefits of having a two-piece vise on a small CNC machine. Before we get started, please take a moment to like and subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out. Thanks. Let's get started right now. Today's video is on two-piece vise. So this is a two-piece vise. There's a couple of different options that you can have with said two-piece vise. What we have here is this one's bolted directly onto the outside. So what I do is I turn around and I tap these holes here and put a bolt in here for these guys and that's how it's sitting on the edge because I want it as close as possible. So let's say you're more of a one it in the center kind of guy. You can use something similar to this. So this guy gets bolted onto here and it's not on the edge. So let's say we want to clamp something in here. Let's say we want to clamp this guy here. Okay. So what it is, is this guy moves freely. This guy here gets clamped down. Then these bolts here push forward and clamp onto here. So we'll put the, push this guy forward for now. We'll snug the back one down. Almost like a regular vise. There's three of them, so you don't have to tighten these ones up super tight. We're going to take our little vice handle. <laughs> now I'm calling these jaws here the 20 cent jaw because there's two 10 cent pieces in there. Uh, you can't have a bolt pushing up against this plastic, so it'll just push through. It's very light stuff. So therefore we just tighten this guy up a bit. See how that coin's popping up? Same thing will happen with this one. And that's okay. If you want, you can cut the, the dimes down and uh, it won't then you can just machine if you have a piece that's low you can machine it right off the top okay so that's clamped pretty well so what happens here when i push these guys in this jaw will lift up so there's also uh, t-slots holding this down as well so i'm going to tighten this down so if this jaw moved up at all when i'm tightening these down it's going to slide downward it'll hold the workpiece down so that this guy's so if I wanted to lift this up, it'll lift, actually lift the machine up. So this isn't bad. It's a good two-piece vise, low profile, without things sticking up above your workpiece, which is great. There's a couple other styles. A th uh, metal insert. Without the metal insert, all you do is just pull the threads right through the piece of plastic. So, and this is actually quite small. If you look at that compared to the size of my thumb, it's quite small. And it's four millimeters, so it's, it is a little small as well. But that's about as all, that's all you can really get into here. Now, they will slide back and forth under extreme pressure. So this isn't good for heavy duty clamping. But then again, this machine will stall out under any heavy duty requirements as well. So that's what those T-nuts look like. And then... This here locks into here and kind of guides it straight. There is no guide on this one. So I can turn that on an angle. And that comes in handy for a few different reasons. So let's say I was holding something that was odd shaped. This will conform to that odd shape or if it's not perfectly square. And it'll prevent a uh, pinch point. So let's say we're holding up here or holding down at the bottom. And let's say this guy's not square and you had it like a five degree angled piece come off of a table saw or something like this. This will conform to your piece and hold it in. And also, you can be down low. But let's say I was machining something where I actually need to go through in the center. That way I'm not going to hit the table at all because I can be up, top, up high here. So let's say I needed to machine something like this piece of glass or piece of plastic here. Oops. I can put that in there. Tap down on the edges. Push in here. And clamp and be able to machine that thin material out not a problem although it might seem like there's a lot of light having that little bit of extra really helps told you it was going to be a short one if you have any questions please leave them in the comments section below if you want to see other great videos check out my youtube channel race fix uh, 